Jeff Bailey would like nothing more than apparently to get Gabriel into the fold of the NWA elite and perhaps using his former tag team partner, Azrael, as sort of a bizarre kind of bait. Well, it's been no secret that Bailey has been recruiting Gabriel heavily for the NWA elite, but the issue at hand, Steve, is the number one contender to the World Television Championship. The winner of this matchup goes on to face Caprice Ice Coleman for the World Television Championship at Hardcore Hell. Collar and elbow tie-up starts out the match. Two very game competitors here. Yes, Two you're, you're, I'm right, you're right. That is, that is the issue, but frankly, this uh, this sort of sub-issue, this, this sort of subset here is, is in some ways it seems to be taking over. And I wonder if uh, perhaps Gabriel, maybe even Jason Cross, can, can hopefully keep the focus on what's, go what's happening here, except with Jeff G. Bailey and his um, emotional and psychological machinations here, I, I'm sure, I, I can't help but wonder. Well, Stephen, there was an uncharacteristically clean break by Jason Cross there that Bailey applauded. And now Gabriel returning the favor with a clean break and Bailey applauding that. I'm not quite sure I get what's going on here. Oh, uh, well, I, some people might say, well, Jeff G. Bailey turn over a new leaf. Obviously, you don't know Jeff G. Bailey. Obviously, the man's got something cooked up here. I mean, Jeff Bailey certainly appreciates good quality wrestling. He's had some of the best quality wrestlers in the NWA elite over the years, certainly. Nice Hurricane Rana by the role model. Color and elbow tie up. Gabriel now with a Hurricane Rana of his own. Match and cross move for move. And that's not something that's easy to do. Only a one count there. Just one and a half on that one. Still very early in this contest. Far too early for a pinfall on either of these quality athletes. And quality athletes they are. And definitely think we think keeping things on the surface, certainly clean on the surface. Let's hope that it stays that way. Of course, I know better, but. Beautiful running shooting start after the drop down by Gabriel. What a counter by Jason Cross, the role model. Yeah, he is. He's one of the best in the world. Yeah, that's true. I think Cross kind of landed a little bit awkwardly on that, on Gabriel. Gabriel thought the best of the matter to roll out from underneath the bottom rope, preventing a pin attempt from Cross. However, Jeff G. Bailey to ringside is always a cause for worry, but even more so the presence of Azrael at ringside as well. Single leg takedown. A nice side headlock applied by Gabriel. Very sound fundamental wrestler. And is thus far matching cross move for move. Leapfrog there. Sent on backsplash. And now I talked about it. A game of one upsmanship here in this matchup. And cross doing just what Gabriel did roll out from under that bottom rope. Slow down the momentum of the Archangel. Certainly worked on our Gabriel did that to Jason Cross. Cross trying to get a little bit of circulation going on in the lower back. Well, Jason Cross is as ornery as he's ever been. Oh, excuse me, uh, must have been that, that shrimp salad. Waist lock here by Cross, full Nelson reversal. He's calling for the brain buster quickly. Gabriel scouted that, maybe if Cross didn't announce it, Gabriel would not have hit him with that back suplex. And Cross able to kick on up. Boy, that suplex involved a bit of a hop from the Archangel as well. Boy, James, Jason Cross went down in a heap. Gabriel now on top cover of his own. And the referee on record here, Andrew Thomas, who has a date with Alter Boy Loop next week here. One on one matchup here, your main event next week on NWA Wildside. I think you should be somewhat concerned about that. I'm kind of surprised he's officiating this week. But regardless, the prize at the moment is the World TV title. The winner of this matchup, the number one contender for that title. Gabriel went for the Arabian press there. Cross has scouted him out enough to know he was out of the way. There's the running idolizer, the rolling idolizer. He did not get what he wanted out of that one. Usually the maneuver is applied with a much more firm underhook, but still only a two count. Obviously Cross thought the better of it. Dobby, take, take the opportunities, you can get it. Perhaps one that's not even a, assembled perfectly well, considering Jason Cross, the one who's doing it, certainly is going to be pretty painful. Knee to the midsection by Cross. Double underhook, rocker, dropper. Sit Gabriel head first. Look, he may have busted his nose open there. 
Gabriel able to roll a shoulder indeed. And Andrew Thomas calling it right down the middle. What's going on here? Are we in the twilight zone? Has my entire life been a lot? Uh, boy, we've gone past through the alternate universe, gone through the vortex here or something. And Jeff Bailey and even Azrael are applauding some of the moves from both Gabriel and, and Jason Cross. It's, uh, it's almost like a mutual admiration society. And I never thought I would say that considering uh, the present cast of characters here. Gabriel ducks a clothesline and drills Cross with the insecurity. Now is Gabriel in any shape to pin Cross at this moment? Because Cross is quite pinnable. Cross wisely rolls over near the ropes. So in case there's any uh, pin attempt, he can break it with a leg and not bottom ropes. Uh, yeah. That was a rather thunderous chop. The Archangel lighting up the chest of Jason Cross. Into the far corner goes Gabriel. Cross charges in, boot to the face. Gabriel up. Second turnbuckle scaling to the top, but Cross, full rotation German suplex from the top rope. Boy, Gabriel goes flying two thirds of the way across the ring. And I wonder at the end of his career might have come, had he hit that German suplex the way it's supposed to be delivered. Luckily for Gabriel, his momentum carried him over. And Jason Cross is also feeling the effects of that high risk move. But he is Jeff Bailey making sure his hire, Jason Cross, is still in relatively good shape. Oklahoma roll, no. Inside cradle by Gabriel, two count. Nagasataru roll through by Cross into the cradle, two count. Gabriel now going for a rolling cradle. Cross gets a shoulder up. And the two men, beautiful bridge up. Jason Cross has Gabriel, brings him up, goes for a power bomb. Gabriel counters, lands on his feet, Cross ducks the clothesline. He's got him up. Here comes the best damn brain buster in North America. Oh my God, the whole body of Gabriel bouncing off that mat. Can his cross it though with any shape just to get a, make a pin attempt on the Archangel. And unfortunately so much time had elapsed that Cross was not able to pin the shoulders of Gabriel down for that three count. That three count, obviously rather an elusive one in this matchup. Gabriel still got quite a bit of fight left in him, surprisingly. After a brain buster, that's, that is surprising. Top rope hurricane runner attempt. That is a move that is a specialty of Gabriel and he knew the counter very quickly. Oh, oh, oh. The double stomp by the Archangel. And gave it right at the 200 pound mark. Boy, coming out feet first onto the torso of the role model. And Cross has to take a TO here. Yeah, good idea. Maybe we should as well. We'll continue more of this event. Well, hang on. Let's not, let's not go to a break here. Let's I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but making his way down the ramp is Alter Boy Luke. No offense. Stay with us, guys in the truck. Stay with us. No commercial yet. Rolling cradle, Jason Cross picked up the victory. And he's number one contender to the world TV title. But it was Ladies Ultra Boy Luke that distracted Gabriel. And the number one contender for the world television championship, representing the NWA elite, the role model, Jason Cross. And Gabriel, he is, he's pointing towards Bailey. 